Happy Pioneer Day, everybody! We are here to tell you an amazing story about two amazing pioneers that happen to be sisters and a story of their courage and their faith. So, 186 years ago, that's a long time ago. I can't imagine you do that long. Yeah, there were two girls and they were sisters and their names were Mary Elizabeth and Caroline Mullins. Now, if you lived in Missouri and you were a member of the church, there was a lot of people that didn't like you and it was a very dangerous place to live. There was also a printing press in Brother William Phelps' house and the whole town knew that he was printing the revelations received by the prophet Joseph Smith. One day, Mary Elizabeth and her sister Caroline saw some of the men from an angry mob break into the Phelps home and they threw the printing press and the printed revelations on top of a second story window. Can you guys pretend like you're in an angry mob and tossing the papers over? Yeah, can you? <clears throat> When Mary Elizabeth saw the papers on the street, she knew what had to be done. She knew that those revelations and commandments came from the Lord and that it was important that the saints had copies of them. Even though they were so scared, both of the girls gathered as many of the papers as they possibly could. Can you guys pretend like they're dropping papers? And when members of the mob spotted them, oh, pretend like you're the mob, they looked down from the window and they yelled at them to stop. What do you think the girls did? Do you think they stopped? No. No way, Jose. They did not stop. They kept scattering the papers and they took them and they ran. You guys run, 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 run. And they ran to a nearby cornfield and they spread out the papers as quickly as they possibly could, and they laid down on them to protect the papers. And it seemed like it was hours before the men grew tired of looking for the girls. Can you guys pretend like you're the mob looking for the girls? I wonder how long they looked and how scared those poor girls were as they were protecting the Book of Commandments. But the mob finally, finally left. I bet you they had to lay pretty still and quiet, huh? Mary Elizabeth and Caroline waited a little bit longer before gathering up the sacred papers and creeping out of their hiding place. You guys gathered up the papers and they were very careful. I bet they were so careful and they probably walked like this through the cornfield just in case the mob were to come back. Because of what Mary Elizabeth and her sister Caroline did, they were able to save the papers and return them to Brother Phelps. Shortly after, those pages were combined with other pages that had been saved and like a this. tiny book called the Book of Commandments was printed. Two years later, Two. those same commandments and revelations were combined with additional revelations from the Lord and printed in a new book. So whenever you read the Doctrine and Covenants, think about Mary Elizabeth and Caroline. That you guys enjoyed this story. And we hope that you guys can think of ways to be courageous, just like Mary Elizabeth and her sister Caroline. I bet it was super scary for them, yeah. but they just took courage and they had faith. I can't believe how hard it would be to hide from those robbers. It would be very scary to hide from the mob and the robbers. I would never want to do that. But we could with the Lord's help, right? And he helped them. And he helped save those Book of Commandments because they were very important to him. And they're very important to us. And we hope that you always remember that and think Maybe about the Book of Mormons. 
and the Book of Mormon is super important too. And we hope that you'll remember this, and we hope you have a wonderful day celebrating Pioneer Day.